So I'm going to be honest, I had pretty high expectations here for the Reclaimer 18 or Spaz 12 here in Modern Warfare 3, and they were not met. Those expectations were a dominant shotgun because let's be honest, none of them are really that good here in Modern Warfare 3. I was expecting that semi-auto hip fire spam that you get from the Gallo from Black, Op Black Ops Cold War or the Spaz 12 from Black Ops 1. It doesn't meet that. It's actually a ton different than you would have expected. And I really struggled to find a setup that was a consistent one and sometimes even two shot kill. I will say you need to be up close and personal with people. Make sure you are not hip firing. Make sure you run it in pump action and make sure you aim down the sights. That's all the advice I can give you because that's where I did find the most success, especially with the build you guys are about to receive. So for our first attachment here, we have the hinge lap light stock. We're gonna be targeting a lot of attachments like this one because of how aggressive you need to play with this particular weapon. It's gonna give you a bunch of mobility. So when we hide our cam here, you can see everything that we're gaining. As a lot of you guys know, I target a lot of my builds around things like hip fire spreads when it comes to shotguns. In this particular case, I'm going to be targeting a lot of movement because you need to be kind of shoving the thing down their throat at the end of the day, especially if you plan to hip fire. So that being said, movement is going to be your best friend on this particular weapon, and that's why we're adding attachments like this one. So on a different front, we're running a rear grip here, and it's for the target of sprint to fire and aim down sight speed. The stock did give you ADS and sprint to fire speed, but we're gonna be gaining a ton here to one particular statistic, which is important, and that's the sprint to fire speed at 15%. It's one of the best sprint to fire speeds in the class. That's one thing it does have going for it, and it's gonna bring our ADS up 3%. So the sprint to fire speed is a positive, but honestly, it's probably about the only one. For our under barrel here, we have the XRK Edge hand stop to give you aim walking speed, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. Again, to touch on the aggression and mobility here on the weapon. It's not gonna be as extreme as the other two, like I can confirm that for you. Not gonna be nearly as much but it still does a good job. And you can see 6% of the movement, 8% of the crowd movement, 12% of the ADS movement, 5% of the ADS, 6% of the sprint to fire. All of this does end up adding up at the end of the day. So this is the one attachment I will say is extremely important. Without it, I really did struggle to get consistent one-shot kills. This is going to give you a tighter pellet spread, and that's going to, in turn, reduce the shotgun spread, meaning your pellets are going to be tighter than if you weren't running it. So in theory, if you're an accurate player like I am, your one shots will be more consistent because of that 38% increase to that shotgun spread. So a must use, in my opinion, I've seen some people playing around with some of them that give you damage range, but after using it, I've tried all of them. I found the most success with the Bryson choke here. And our final attachment is the Discourager 900 heavy barrel to increase bullet velocity and damage range. Along with that, we are getting tube ammo capacity. Just a positive, I think this is by far the best barrel you can be running because the damage range is like lost at 2.5 meters. Uh, the other ones are gonna give you things like ADS, which is great for movement, but it definitely won't help the inconsistent one-shot kills. So this is gonna give you a 16% increase to that damage range there, which is the most important statistic. So I made a lot of comments in a lot of my videos leading up to this one talking about how this thing was cheeks. Yeah, I mean, it definitely got better when I discovered this build. Is it my favorite shotgun in the game? Absolutely not. I would much rather use the Haymaker aftermarket part or the Riveter in tax stance or the Lockwood 680. They just seem to have an identity and are more consistent. I think something's wrong. I think they're going to buff this thing up because it just seems so inconsistent. Sometimes it feels really good, but then other times you get a hit mark and you're like, I don't understand. As always, here's the rest of my loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to pause the video to copy this one down, as always, we're going to jump over to a small map to feature a shotgun, the Reclaimer 18. You guys can see the goods with this one, but you can also see the inconsistencies I am referring to. I hope to see a buff here to this one in the very near future. Let's get into that. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna be honest, the Spaz 12, it's not great. It's not completely horrible, but it's not great either. It's good at close range, but after that, yeah, it struggles. Um, I know they're releasing an aftermarket part. See, like right there's a hit marker, but I know they're releasing an aftermarket part that's gonna make this thing have the potential to dual wield. So 
That being said, I'm hoping that that kind of helps it. But as of right now, this thing, I mean, that's a hit marker. You know what I mean? It doesn't really make sense to me. This guy right here just absolutely torches me. He's got a spaz as well, but he's been absolutely frying me. Again, there's just, I don't know, man. I have tried everything, and every video I've seen has basically said the same thing. This thing sucks. Now, you have to aim down sight with it if you want even remotely a chance to get a one-shot kill. Just simple as that. You have to aim down sight. Okay, so this guy has slugs. That actually makes a ton of sense as to why he was one-shotting me as much as he was. Do I have faith I can get a nuke? Yes, I've gotten a nuke with it already while I was leveling it up, but it's still not like that easy. I'm like one kill off of Vietzel here and I'm kind of crapping myself. Because obviously with the DNA bomb, you're allowed to get it with streaks now. I have more of an opportunity to get not easier nukes, but easier in a sense here. There's our advanced UAV. And teammate had an SAE for the win. I got to play it smart here. I want this DNA bomb. Well, I can't play it smart when they spawn on me. Yes, really can't play it smart. When they spawn on me like this, I'm going to die. I'm not dead. I don't know what I'm on. I'm so scared. All right. Bans UAVs in again. And a DNA bomb. Okay, like I said, I've gotten it before. I've just kind of learned how to play with it. But again, there's so many strange hit markers. I'm hoping and praying that the aftermarket part that they're going to add to this thing makes it worth it because that's the only way that would be end up being worth it is if because it's going to be dual wield you have to think some of those hit markers are going to be eliminated right almost didn't see that guy we got to win the game now that's going to be the next struggle They keep spawning on the hill. May have to use some pistol for some range kills here. They have grenades on the hill. Oh my god, okay. Hitting now. Gotta reload. Get the advanced UAV in. Just soak some time here. Stop stunning me. Get lit up. 
Need to reload again. I'm trying to keep them back. My team's sitting on the hill for now. So if I can keep them back and off the hill, theoretically, that should help me. I'm at next. They just spawned over here. They're on both sides of me here. Yeah, I didn't even see him, which was weird. I was trying to hold down the spawns, but that just didn't work. See, there's the hit markers I'm talking about. You can't tell me I deserve that. All right, score's close, too close. Well, we're on next. They have trophy systems. I actually might switch to that. I'm going to sit right here. This is in the hill. trying my best this hill stinks right here this one terrible to try to hold scores close but I I mean it's too close Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can quickly get on a trophy system here. I'm assuming this, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm assuming this cruise missile is gonna kill me. All right, teammates are on it here. And I'm on it here, they're gonna be over there. All right, we're in the lead. Hitting like that. Oh, I just got stuck, didn't I? I got hit by a frag and then stuck. That's insane luck. Insane luck. They took the lead back. I'm going to just sit here. I'm gonna die. I gotta just keep pumping these trophy systems out. They throw so much. They throw so many stuns, frags. We're at the next hill. Lateral. I just couldn't squeak away, bro. This is intense. We're losing now, dude.
I'm at next. I'm not at next, bro. Please stay on it. I got a trophy system for the hill. We need to win. We're in the lead. Probably jump off now, to be honest. Oh no. I'm gonna be honest, kind of choke. Kind of choked. Are we winning? We're winning. Mm. This is not good. I don't think I'm going to win. I really don't. Oh, this is going to come down to the wire. I'm watching my mini map. I got two hit markers. We could jump off if we wanted to and win. We freaking won. Oh my God. That made the heart hurt. That made the chest pump. Oh, that's the downside of no MGB now. You can get a DNA bomb. It's cool. It blows up and kills everybody. Doesn't win the game like the MGB does.